It's the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. I know, the shirt kind of threw you off, didn't it? <laughs> What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, today, we will be going over the wonderful uh, challenges, as well as Iron Banner, and as you can see from the screen, Gamut Prime, we do have another map, and it is called the Emerald Coast, and yeah. So, let's go ahead and start off with the Milestones. Obviously, whoop. Hold on, before we get into that, and apparently we're getting uh, additional Valor for the week. Yay, probably even more during the weekend. And more stuff! <laughs> we're just gonna keep going. So, we have the Traveler, which we actually need to go ahead and do uh, 20 bounties for Ikora. Then we need to earn 5,000 clan XP, as well as forge two weapon frames. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to complete three uh, daily story missions, complete three strikes, and the modifiers for this week are Solar Singe, Blackout, as well as Brawler, as well as complete a Nightfall and a Nightfall with 100,000 points. This week's Nightfalls are a Garden World, the Corrupted, and the Inverted Spire. Coming down to Gambit, we need to go ahead and complete four Gambit Prime matches, complete three Gambit matches, as well as uh, gain 100 progress in the Reckoning. As for Crucible, as I did say earlier, the Iron Banner is back, and I will be playing the Shiznan out of this just for the hell of it because I really don't need anything for Iron Banner. But with that said, you need to complete five Crucible matches, and that could be in any one of these uh, playlists, except for private matches. Coming to the Dreaming City, Petrovenge is located in the Devalian Mists, and you need to complete two of her weekly bounties. And then, last but not least, on Nessus, we have your uh, weekly Flashpoint, which uh, you need to complete public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures. If you do the heroic version of the public events, you can get it done a lot faster. And then we also have the um, heroic adventure, Unbreakable. So let's find out what Tess Everest has at the Eververse for us this week. Starting at the top, we have the Eververse packages. We have the Primetime Bundle. This gives you five Notorious Engrams as well as three Fireteam Medallions and 250 Bright Dust. Then we have the um, Sorrowful Emblem. Sorrowful Emblem, sorry. I mean, not Emblem, Bundle. <laughs> this gives you uh, three Notorious Engrams, the Wishes of Sorrow for the Thorn, and it's a weapon ornament, and that actually looks pretty badass. And then it also gives you this uh, wonderful Transmat effect. Let's go ahead and preview it. Eh, it's mediocre. But that Wishes of Sorrow looks amazing. Wow. I want one. Then we have your uh, wonderful Motes bundle. One Notorious Engram. The Still Hungry for the Gnawing Hunger. As well as this wonderful uh, shader. And then the one next to it, which is Street Smarts Bundle. One Notorious Engram. The ornament for the Outlast, as well as five Bloody Tooth Shaders. No kitty. Anyways, as for the emotes, we have Watching You. It's funny, because I do this with my son all the time. Then we have Dance Hall. Then we have a speeder. It actually looks pretty cool. It's very unique. At least this speeder is. Got another speeder. Speeder, sparrow, whatever the hell you want to call them. They got it from Star Wars. I don't care. 
We got a ship. That's a very bulky, ugly looking ship. And we got another ship. Which happens to be another skin. And then we got the Hissing Silent Shell. This comes with random mods, two of them, and Omni Telemetry. That actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Then we have Collection uh, Projection, as well as the War Painting Ornament for the Full Tracer. That looks pretty awesome. Then coming down here, we have the Caution Heavy Machine, uh, Caution Heavy Machinery for the Prospector. That actually looks pretty cool. Should have like came out with this. And then we have the wonderful thing I can't say for the last man standing uh, ornament. Ozzy Mendias. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Looks like a pretty decent shotgun. I haven't got one yet, so we're going to uh, have to try this out. For transmount effects, we got this wonderful one, as well as this wonderful one. And then for shaders, we have the war brick. As well as the Metro Shift. Then we got your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard of the Crucible, as well as your Fire Team Medallion. Coming over to Lord Saladin in the Iron Banner. Let's see what we got this week. We got your wonderful bounties. But we also have new gear, so there actually is a reason for me to come back. We have this iron, wonderful something cloak. I can't even say that and I'm not gonna attempt it. Uh, okay, looks pretty pretty decent, you know. Uh, comes with better already as well as special ammo finder. If this was a uh, repercussion, I would definitely love it a lot better. Then we have boots. for pulse rifle stuff then we have uh, grips gauntlets it's weird because all of the hunters have so far all void damage resistance on it this is the chest piece and I actually like this chest piece a lot like I really do here's the helmet it's okay, I guess. Then we have the Breath of the Dragon submachine gun. This comes with polygon rifling, full bore, high caliber rounds, outlaw, and kill clip. Hmm. And range is uh, the masterwork for it. This just might... Uh be a little bit better than uh, the submachine gun I like using. And then last but not least, we have the Orings Mall. Interesting. A new version of it. This has confined launch, black powder, field prep, as well as moving target. And this also has blast radius. Woo! Coming down here to the pursuits, we have the Iron Burner, uh, Iron uh, Burden uh, Consumable Token. And it says, decreases your power by 100 while participating in the Iron Banner. Who the hell wants to do that shit? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a reason for this. And then we also have the emblem, the Weight of Guilt. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.